welcome to the Ford Roll Print Show. My name is David and today we're going to take a look at how do you know when your shirts are completely dry, that they're not going to wash out once you give them to the client, that they are permanently cured and you've got a good product to give someone. How do you know? Let's find out. So there's basically three ways of telling if your shirts are completely cured. Um, and we're going to take a look at all three of them today. One that most people use is the heat gun, infrared heat gun, uh, which is good and it can give you an average. It usually, what this actually does is measure the temperature at the top of the ink, what that is going through your dryer. So what it is there isn't necessarily mean that's the temperature that it is down below. Uh, so in order to know what that is, there's another tool that you can use. And that's this, the Atkins uh, Donut. So what this tool does is that it's got two little crosshairs on there and I think you can see them. Um, if you put these crosshairs into the ink and then send it through, you also have a monitor that reads the temperature from beginning to end. So, you know, as long as you stay up to that 320, 330 for 40 seconds, it's cured. And remember that this now is registering what the ink temperature is inside. So, you know, that goes into the ink itself and goes through the dryer and lets you know. So that's the second way. And then the third way is the stretch test. Um, that's a good way of seeing, of being pretty sure uh, that you've gotten a good cure. Uh, because it, the worst thing that can happen, especially in you if you're new out there, is that you've you know got a new client and you know you're printing in his shirts, everything's great. He goes gives them out to all his customers. They wash them, they come back, they're like, oh, my shirt washed out, what happened? So now he's looking at you like you don't know what you're doing. So really important to zone in and be able to cure the ink. And basically today we're just talking about plastisol inks. Uh, I'll do another video on water base, but today will be just plastisol. Now, what we've observed is that, you know, if it's a shirt like this, much easier to cure uh, because the design isn't that heavy with ink. A shirt with this kind of design, much harder to cure this ink. So, you know, that would be something that you definitely would want to use the donut probe for. But, you know, once you do that, and once you get that, sent that through and you can, you know, tune in on your dryer, just write that down somewhere and that's it. That, that, you know, anytime you go and print cotton t-shirts, plastisol ink, you've got it written down as far as, um, you know, what your settings are and you're good because you've already tested it. Okay. So we'll take a look now at how this works. So in a normal instance, what happens is that, you know, you printed the shirt, you go ahead and take it off with the press. Lay it onto the dryer and it does its stuff. Um, take your heat gun. You shoot what that temperature, you shoot what that temperature is, and you know, you think that you're good to go. So that reading right there, that gave me a reading of 325. Now let's try that same thing. We'll print another shirt and use the donut probe. So now how this probe works is you just take these ends, plug it in like that, turn it on, and we're ready to go.
So we ended up running the donut probe through the dryer uh, about six to eight times, changing the different heat settings on our dryer, changing the belt speed, um, also the raising and lowering of uh, the dryer itself from the belt. So a combination of those three things got us up to that 320 for 40 seconds, and that guarantees that you'll have cured shirts. So now this time we'll take a look at um, running the ink through the dryer and testing it with the infrared heat gun. So let's see how that goes. So the final test that we'll do today is I'm gonna show you the stretch test and how you can tell, um, I'm probably about 90% sure, 90 to 95% sure that you've got a good cure um, on your shirts. So let's take a look. So here is an example of a shirt that is not cured. And can you see how that, how that breaks apart? See that? just it separates it cracks it the ink is not moving along with it now here is one that is cured and we'll do the same thing and watch the ink it it, it stretches with it you're not getting the cracking that you got before so that's one way of telling now oh, another good way is okay this is the cured one now we'll, we'll scratch at it you know nothing is coming off it, it's still everything's there now we'll take a look at the one that wasn't cured and we'll scratch at this one If you can see see the stuff that came off it the ink that came off it that's not cured so the last te the last test that we just showed the scratch and stretch that's obviously the least expensive way of going about being pretty sure that your shirts have cured and it's really a good one that like you really if it's not scratching off and it the ink is um, as you pull at it it's stretching along with it is a good likelihood that that is a good cure. Um, so there were the three ways. We hope you liked this. If you have any questions, please leave comments, ring the bell, subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.